Today let us see the summary of the novels Sardha by Herman Hess in the paper world literature in translation we have the novel Sardha this novel Sardha by Herman Hess is prescribed in the last unit of the paper world literature in translation Siddhartha is a novel written by Hermann Hesse. Hermann Hesse is a German born Swiss poet. He is a poet novelist and a writer. He has written many novels. This novel is about Siddhartha's spiritual journey. The spiritual journey of Siddhartha is a portrayed in this novel now i am going to list out the main characters who come in this novel the first character is siddhartha he is the protagonist of this novel he is the main character in this novel the next character is gautama he is the person whom now we call as bhuta Gautama is the name of the person who is called as Bhutta. Uh, Govinda is another character who comes in this novel. Govinda is Siddhartha's uh, friend. The next character is Kamala. She is uh, Siddhartha's lover. Kamala is Siddhartha's uh, lover Kama Swami. is the name of a local business man then vasu deva is the name of one of the character in this novel vasu deva is the name of the fairy man who is living in the river this novel is about the spiritual journey of siddhartha this novel portrays uh, how Siddhartha attains enlightenment. This novel also highlights uh, what are the hurdles he faces uh, in his way while attaining enlightenment. This novel begins uh, with uh, the description of the place where Siddhartha lives. Kapila Vastu is the name of the place where Siddhartha lives. It's the name of a town. So it's uh, where Siddhartha lives. He is living in a Brahmin uh, family. His father, Siddhartha's father, teaches everything to Siddhartha. He teaches Siddhartha about uh, how to worship God. He gives a... Uh, many spiritual teachings uh, to his uh, son siddhartha feels uh, somewhat uneasy he feels uh, that he is missing something he wants to search for a new he wants to find new things in his life he wants to be different from others there should be a innovative uh, idea in his life so he goes out of him he goes out of uh, his parents and he searches for enlightenment govinda siddhartha's uh, friend is, is also accompanying uh, siddhartha he also comes with uh, siddhartha in search of enlightenment govinda and uh, siddhartha are doing meditation for a long time they hear about uh, gautama he is the person whom now we call as bhuta they come to know about uh, the preaching of uh, gautama bhuta govinda and siddhartha go to gautama they hear uh, many preachings uh, from uh, gautama 
ಗೋವಿಂದ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ವಾಟ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಗೌತಮಾಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಸರ್ಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆನ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೀಚ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಓನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ learning enlightenment we should uh, search our own enlightenment we should uh, choose our own way this is the main idea of siddhartha kavinda he is very happy with uh, gautama's uh, teaching siddhartha is not uh, feeling content uh, in uh, gautama's uh, teaching he goes to the town siddhartha goes to the town after crossing a river he meets a girl named kamala he falls in love with her kamala is siddhartha's lover then siddhartha goes and joins in a company he serves and as an apprentice in a local business company he takes a training under kama swami who is a local businessman vasudeva is another man who comes in this novel vasudeva is the name of the person who spends his life on near the river he says that uh, siddhartha will uh, come to this river once again after crossing this river siddhartha meets kamala he falls in love with her then he goes and uh, joins in a business company he becomes rich he wants to throw away all these uh, richness in his life he wants to search enlightenment but uh, he has returned to the life of uh, luxury by falling in love with uh, kamala kamala doesn't want to marry a saint she wants her husband to be wealthy then siddhartha becomes very rich he is not interested in the life of uh, luxury in the river uh, kamala is uh, beaten by a snake he is, goes to the river again siddhartha goes to the river where he has uh, met kamala again kamala is beaten by a snake she dies she is uh, now pregnant she is uh, coming with his uh, son the son is uh, born to siddhartha and kamala he runs away from siddhartha vasudeva tells that uh, the boy has his own feelings we have to leave him alone he has to choose his own way vasudeva says that uh, the boy should uh, choose his own uh, path he should lead his life then siddhartha preaches something to vasudeva what he has learnt from gautama siddhartha is doing meditation for a long time he is in meditation for long years he has reached enlightenment he has finally attained enlightenment in this novel then he meets uh, govinda after uh, long years he meets uh, his old friend govinda after long years now govinda and siddhartha become very old when meeting govinda siddhartha asks uh, him to kiss uh, him govinda kisses uh, siddhartha he gets enlightenment Govinda inquires Siddhartha about how he has attained enlightenment. 
in his life then he asks uh, govinda to kiss him govinda kisses siddhartha he gets enlightenment um, this novel ends with uh, siddhartha's uh, words we should uh, love the world completely we should accept the life as it is we should be guided by time so we should accept the situation which comes in life we should love the world completely this is the ending of the novel the is novel ends here this novel is about siddhartha's spiritual journey Siddhartha is uh, searching for enlightenment he has attained uh, enlightenment in the novel thank you